Hi, good evening. My name is Dave Gagney. I'm the town administrator here for the town of West Bridgewater. We're going to bring to you a preview for the upcoming Board of Selectments meeting scheduled for June 17th. Two items of note I would like you to know right up front. One is the meetings are traditionally at 7 p.m. This meeting will be held at 6.15 p.m. instead. The second is, is that since March, unfortunately due to the coronavirus pandemic, we are still not allowing the public into the building and therefore into the meetings. However, since March, we have been televising our, as a live stream on Channel 9, our meetings live. So that will continue the same for June 17th. <clears throat> as for the agenda, the first couple of items on the agenda will be for them to approve and to review their accepted minutes. Town meeting is only two weeks away. And one of the articles is going to be reassigned from one selectman to another because Selectman Kinningham sits on a committee and therefore the board will be asking him to move it instead of the prior vote. One of our water department employees will be looking to carry over a vacation request from one fiscal year to the other per their collective bargaining agreement. And the board of assessors now have an opening. Their full-time position person is no longer with the town. So as a result, the Board of Assessors are going to be requesting the Board of Selectmen to promote the part-time person to the full-time person and then post for the part-time position. As many of you are aware, last year at town meeting, we, got, we secured approval from town meeting to take down the old salt shed. It's in pretty bad disrepair. So that's going to finally be removed. We have gone out to bid to hire a, con a uh, OPM or a clerk of the courts. And so we are ready to award that contract to an engineering firm. So that will be before the Board of Selectmen for their review and vote. The police department has one retiree in another part. Uh, so therefore, they will have two open positions within their department. So the police chief is going to request that we fill both positions. You know, on a congratulatory note to our police chief and to our police lieutenant, the town of West Bridgewater has just been awarded full state accreditation. Only about a third of the police departments in the state have been able to accomplish this, and they did it in less than two years. So hands off to both the police chief and to the police lieutenant, and quite frankly to the entire department for all the work they did to receive such a great accreditation. There will be a site plan review in reference to a contractor's yard up on Manley Street for the Board of Selectmen to review before it goes on to the planning board. And then there are two 61A properties, one on Cross Street and the other one on Maple Street, that the original owner is looking to sell. And the Board of Selectmen will take a vote as to whether or not the town would like to exercise its first right of refusal. We are going to town meeting on June 29th, and part of what we do at town meeting is to set a budget. However, the Department of Revenue is highly recommending that every single municipality approve a budget called a 112th budget prior to July 1st, just in case something were to happen at town meeting and town meeting did not happen. So for example, between now and then, a major outbreak of coronavirus broke out in West Bridgewater, our local health officials declared the fact that we could not meet. As a result, the meeting did not occur. We still have to have a budget come July 1st per, per Mass General Law. Recognizing this, the legislature has recently enacted special legislation that would allow the Board of Selectmen to adopt a 112th budget. And all that really means is, is that each department will have the authority to be able to spend 1 12th of its budget come July 1st until a budget is actually approved at town meeting. We don't anticipate this to occur, but we're going to follow the Department of Revenue recommendations and guidelines. In addition to that, there is grant money that is now available for all expense, expenses that the town incurs related to COVID-19. We obviously do not have a budget set up last year at town meeting specific to the pandemic. So the Department of Revenue is requiring that we create a separate account of which we will expend all of our monies through that account and then be reimbursed from Plymouth County. Because the money is going to be expensed up front in anticipation of reimbursement, that account technically is going to be overdrawn. So as a result, the legislation has passed. 
and therefore the Department of Regu Revenue has created its regulations to allow us to what we call a deficit spend out of that account, but it requires a Board of Selectmen approval in advance. So I'll be asking the Board for that approval. I will provide, as I do every single meeting, a COVID-19 update to the Board, just to keep them informed as to where we are with our town buildings, as to what buildings are open and which ones are closed. Also an update as to what restaurants have taken advantage of our outdoor seating approval process that was approved by the Board of Selectmen at its last meeting. And to also up update them as to how many counts we currently have in the town of West Bridgewater. Good news, like everybody else in the, in the state, our numbers are declining. The Senate today um, voted on early voting legislation and the House passed it last week that is going to affect our town clerk's operations and staff for both the primary in September and for the general election in November. The legislation looked to actually expand it above and beyond what was originally thought and as a result on behalf of the town clerk I sent a memo off to our state senator informing him about how it would be detrimental and adverse to the town of West Bridgewater. The town was still in favor of early voting and early voting passed. It was just a matter of whether or not we could do it for two weeks in August versus only one week. As a result, that legislation has passed today, and I'm going to bring the Board of Selectmen up to date on that. And the last is, is just to inform the Board of Selectmen as to exactly which meeting rooms we are going to be meeting at town meeting, depending on whether or not there's overflow that's going to be required. After that, we have been in negotiations with our police department for a new collective bargaining agreement, and I will enter into executive session with the Board of Selectmen to brief them as to where we are and to hopefully take the next steps. As always, we always encourage any involvement as we can from the public. Although you cannot be there, uh, you will be able to watch us live. And as a result, we hope that you enjoy watching the show, knowing that the Board of Selectmen, my office, and all of our department heads continue to do everything that we can do to provide you services through this difficult time. Thank you very much. Please stay safe.